divorce and the divorce rate in South Africa has seen a steady increase and at present no less than 50% of marriages in our country end in divorce within the first 10 years. This week is National Marriage Week in South Africa and the initiative strives to make people aware of the importance of a stable marriage and how it affects the well-being of our nation. Meet a Durban-based couple who are making their union work in the bedroom and the boardroom. If a couple works together, can they stay together? Research indicates that working side by side can be harmful to a relationship, but this doesn't seem to be the case for married couple Zach and Amy, who balance a passion for fashion with their love for each other. We're Zach and Amy, um, and we've been uh, married going on six years now. Uh, we uh, met when we were quite young. Um, Amy was 19, I was about 24. And uh, yeah, we dated for about a year, got engaged, and uh, kind of haven't looked back since. I think, <laughs> I think we knew from quite an early start that we ultimately wanted to spend the rest of our lives together. So we kind of felt, why wait? But we felt uh, confident in, in our love for each other, and we, we were willing to kind of find that out as we go, you know? We um, got married at such a young age when a lot of people were cautioning us against that, um, saying, you know, why would you give up your freedom at such a young age? But we didn't view it like that, you know, we, uh, we kind of saw a greater freedom. These two lovebirds live life in the fast lane. Zach is the creator of a hugely popular clothing label called Sgt. Pepper, while Amy designs and creates for a Jane Sows label. They each get a lot of personal fulfillment from being able to work in the industry they love. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'm just uh, kind of running the business. The last uh, sort of year and a half, I haven't slept much. You know, my, my, my wife would know. My passion is really building brands, the community around Sgt. Pepper, and making sure that they understand that voice and uh, are able to relate to it. Amy's label is mostly sold via online boutiques and is distributed nationally and internationally. Like Zach's line, Amy's clothing and accessories are locally produced and she's proud of this achievement. I've been privileged enough to collaborate with other local makers and artisans and so we do um, footwear and accessories. Amy loves timeless styles which translate into her designs and Zach is very supportive of her work. Yeah, one thing I'm always kind of taken aback by is just the authenticity of her brand, you know. Um, I'm always, she's like the real deal. Zach and Amy are also very understanding of the trials of being an entrepreneur and a newlywed. Well, as any entrepreneur would know, when you're starting out a company, you know, the first year, two, three years is a complete, you know, nightmare. It's, you kind of give everything you have to that one single passion that you're busy pursuing. And, uh, you know, we really had to make sure that we were intentional about looking after our relationship. Being in the same industry, we really can relate. We really get each other and uh, we're able to really kind of be there for each other. Yeah, and it's awesome. Like, Zach's an incredible sounding board for me as well. Like, I really trust his opinion and his um, the advice he gives and knows. Whether you work together or not, Zach and Amy's advice to married couples is to have dedicated downtime. No phones, no work, no social media, just pure quality with each other. I think um, it's incredible to be able to blow wind in each other's sails and to like really truly support each other's dreams and um, yeah, encourage each other to just run hard at those things. That's the joy of marriage, so. Just like a business, marriage takes time, effort and devotion to work. But if you put in the commitment like Zach and Amy's beautiful example, you too can find success in both spheres.